What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create some text and utilize some audio for a simple transition. So if you wanna use text in Premiere Pro, we can do some simple animations. And of course, if you wanna use After Effects, you can utilize that as well. I have another tutorial where I'm gonna put the link in the description to that tutorial where I show you guys how to use 3D text. So I'll use that example here, but that tutorial actually explains how to create that 3D text in After Effects and then import it into Premiere Pro. In this situation though, I'm just gonna create the text. It's gonna be simple in Premiere Pro and then also I'm going to show you guys how to utilize that 3D text. So in this situation we just have the background here this is my Adobe Easy background for my second channel where I talk about technology and all sorts of random things. So I'm going to select title, new title and then select default still. I'm just going to type in Android as some sample text. So over here we have the text tool type in Android there's so many different styles over here if you want to select any from here or you can select one of the fonts here. So there's a lot of fonts to choose from so let me see which one I want to select here. So I'm going to select this font over here, and then once we have this selected, we can actually change the color. And for Android, I would select the green color. So let me find the green color that works here, because usually Android is green. And right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. So we're going to close that out, and then in the project panel over here, you can just bring the title onto the timeline. And then I'm going to bring the text over the background layer, so it's on video layer 2. Now I'm going to select Window Effects Controls. And over here, you're gonna see that you have the ability to move this text around. If you don't know, the first number is always the X axis and the second number is always the Y axis. The X axis is always a horizontal line. The Y axis is always the vertical line. So that's a way to remember this, X and Y. You can think about it like the alphabet. I know a lot of people who are beginning with Premiere Pro, they get confused with these kind of numbers, but that's how they calculate it. So it's just coordinates, X and Y axis. Now, if we look at this Android text, it looks pretty cool. Let's say we want to do a simple transition. Well, we can select the opacity and we'll scroll to the beginning over here. And this is where the text is. We'll shorten this and then we'll see what it's all about when we're finished. Right over here, I'm going to select one keyframe for the opacity. So we're going to select that and we're going to set it at zero. Then when we scroll here, you don't need to even create this keyframe like this by selecting it. You can actually just increase it like this and the keyframe automatically appears. Now again, the longer this is extended, that's how long it'll take to appear. So if I press play like this, you'll see that it appears. Now if I want it to be even faster, you can put those two keyframes together like that and you see it appears right away. So again, the longer you extend this, the longer it's gonna to take to appear. In this situation, I would like it to appear pretty quick and that's what it looks like. Now over here on the timeline, I have a sound effect and you can find variations of sound effects online called transition sound effects. Let me play it here. So I'm gonna take the sound effect and line it up with where the text appears. Now we're gonna to have to time this. So just as it appears, that's when I want the sound effect to apply. So we're gonna probably select here where it's in the middle of the transition because it's gonna be pretty quick. So we'll see how this works out and we'll see if the timing looks okay. I'm just gonna move the marker on the timeline and then press play again. And that looks pretty cool. Now the next thing I wanna do is actually apply this to 3D text. So I'm gonna to go to Window Project, I'm gonna select my 3D text that I have for my other tutorial. And in the other tutorial, I explain how to create this 3D text because it actually was created in After Effects. Now you see here it has a black background. If I want to create this with no background or I want to actually apply it above this background, I would just import this in After Effects and then you can apply the text over the background. But in this situation, we're just gonna look at the text. So I'm gonna play this animation and you see that it's not moving that fast. So what I'm gonna do is actually right click on this, select speed duration, and I'm gonna select probably 200. We'll see what that looks like. And that looks better. By the way, if you want to extend this, because right away you see that it's not showing, you would just move over here to the timeline, cut that clip, right click, select frame hold options, and you're gonna select in point, select okay, and then we're gonna select is the rate stretch tool. It's actually going to extend how long the text appears. And you see it says this Wednesday. Next, what we're gonna do is take that sound effect. I'm gonna press V on my keyboard, it's a shortcut to utilize the selection tool. We're gonna move the marker right here, and that looks pretty cool. You see a lot of this in commercials for movies and everything where they're utilizing text. They want to make their production more interesting and exciting so it gets people's attention. So I thought this is a really good tutorial where I explain to you guys how to create some text and also utilize some transition audio effects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Premiere Pro. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.